What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We're going to go over some market, we're going to go over what you should do with your MT, some tokens and whatnot. And yeah, guys, please drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to around 120 likes. And man, we have been doing a lot on the market. I mean, my MT is still low. And if you guys don't know, I did get my wisdom teeth pulled. Honestly, I feel kind of good. It's not that much pain. Hopefully, the pain doesn't happen tomorrow. Honestly, I kind of feel good. I kind of look the same. My cheeks aren't puffy. I'm kind of chilling. So yeah, um, if you guys know on Twitter, I posted some jokes videos if you don't follow me on there. So go check those out on Twitter. I was literally off my ass. Um, I was drugged off from the procedure. So you should go check those videos out on my Twitter. But yeah, right now, man, um, KD has dropped, which is really good news. I will be picking up very soon. Vince Carter, on the other hand, not looking too good. He's actually kind of cheap. I'm eventually going to sell him and then sell Magic and then get KD and Clay, And then my team will be KD here, Tracy, and I'm going to sell AG. Yo, I literally remember putting up Aaron Gordon last night. Like, I swear to you guys. I guess I didn't. I don't know. What is his price right now? Wow, okay. I literally remember putting him up last night. Maybe I put up Magic Johnson for 100k. I don't know. Okay, I guess I didn't put up anything. Um, I guess I was dreaming about the game. I just fell asleep for four hours because of the pain, but it's honestly all gone. But yeah, guys, this video, we're going to go over some token. Honestly, bro, we're going to go over some token market. We're going to go over MT, what you should do with your MT, what you should do with your cards. So that being said, market is slowly rising, as I said, which is good news. But Clay Thompson looks like he's going to be a buyout, if not already a buyout. So that's good news. If you do want Clay, he's going to be a buyout very soon. Also, man, um, market is slower. Oh, right there. Should I buy that? I don't think I should. I don't even got enough MT for it. But I'm definitely getting my Clay Thompson very soon. As you guys do know, bro, in my opinion, he's better than Vince Carter Opal. Why do I say this? Because it was defense, bro. Defense is a really big part of this game. In my opinion, he's better. He is 99.99. So is Vince. He's also taller, so I kind of do want him. You know, Vince does have 37 Hall of Fame badges. I really do like this Clay Thompson. He's probably really good. Um, but I don't know. I'm thinking about selling Vince, or honestly, I'll just probably maybe just sell uh, Magic Johnson, and I'll be 100K short for KD, which I could probably scrap up 100K somewhere. Oh, right, I'll sell my Aaron Gordon and him. Then I will move uh, KD to the starting lineup and move T Mac down here, and my team will be pretty much set. But uh, yeah, other than that, guys, right now, you could pretty much sell your team. To be honest, uh, I would say sell it either today or tomorrow because honestly, the market is kind of slow right now. There's nothing crazy going on. There's not a lot of snipes going on through the market. It's honestly kind of just mellowing out, which like I said, it was going to happen eventually. It's just, dude, the only thing I don't like is the Galaxy Opals are kind of around the same price, which is kind of annoying. I really can't stand how they're around the same price still it's really really annoying in my opinion like i don't know how they are the same price like how are they not rising they're out of packs it's a freaking 99 overall vince and a 99 mj like how is michael jordan 270k i still cannot under i still don't understand that but honestly you know what destroyed their prices i think the clay thompson and the band bro i think the clay thompson is actually that good to where he could actually sub out Vince Carter for the low. That is what I think. And I honestly definitely think that is one of the reasons. So hopefully you'll probably see Clay Thompson's price drop. Well, like I like it did just there. It was a bio for him. Like I said, if his price drops, man, that means Vince Carter's price is probably gonna drop too. So pretty much this new clay card does um affect the Vince Carter. Also, man, if you really want to pop packs, I'm just gonna say don't pop packs bro like straight up like please just do me a favor stay away from packs you're not gonna pull anything good like i seen a lot of 20 boxes go to waste he only pulled westbrook westbrook's 80k if you're gonna spend 50 dollars for 80k i honestly would just say go buy mt on a website and get like 300k or 400k for 50 bucks but that's just me i really wouldn't recommend having packs also if you have a lot of tokens like i do 
and you really, really want to get your Galaxy Opal stage, please just don't. Like, straight up, just don't waste your time. And do not, just do not give in to these players. These players are so crap. I mean, they're so bad. So save your tokens. I'm gonna about it. I'm gonna enter the Galaxy Opal stage once they do drop the new pink diamonds. Once they do, bro, they should probably drop 98 pink diamonds because we're pretty much at that stage. 97s are almost outdated by now without the glitch LeBron. And also, a lot of people are asking me, should I sell my glitch LeBron? Like, I feel like he's going to keep dropping. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, if you should sell him, uh, I'm probably not going to sell him. He's actually a... Wow. He went up a lot. So... I'm thinking about it, man. Do I sell my LeBron? I don't want to just because he's actually that good. So I'm probably not going to sell him. But, yo, honestly, I honestly want to pick up KD. He's actually the right price. 430k for this card is well, well worth it. He's probably going to go out of 300 sooner or later. But, honestly, if you really do want to pick up KD, I would definitely recommend. This card is that good, bro. Like, straight up. He's that good. He's even got a 92 post fade. And he's 6'9 at small forward. He has really good defense. His block's even 85. He's slithery, bro. It's KD. He's got cheese animations. He's got speed boost. He's cheese. Honestly, the only thing about this car that isn't that good is 90 speed with ball. Considering there's Richard Jefferson is an 88 speed with ball. And he feels like a slug. So that's one thing I'm going to say. Also, bro, if you don't have the MT... Get Richard Jefferson on your team. He's actually pretty solid, and he's really cheap. He's a really, really good defender. I would recommend using him. He plays really good for me. If you don't have KD, that's a perfect sub. But, yo, right now, I'm kind of just scoping out the market. Honestly, one thing you might want to snipe is Clay Thompson buyouts. And also, another snipe filter. Shout out to fourth quarter once again. This snipe filter, bro, pink diamond, power forward moments, is actually that good. Like, it's really, really good. I really recommend you try it out. And also, if you have the MT to snipe out opals, I would recommend that, obviously, as well. But, yo, this filter is mad easy. It's just power forward, pink diamond, moments, buyout. And literally, if Zion or anything pops up, Aaron Gordon's on it, Zion's on it, Giannis is on it, Kawhi's on it. And, yeah, bro, this filter is money. If anything pops up on this filter, four cards, they're actually kind of spam because they were in packs. I would honestly pull the trigger on one of the cards. I missed a Zion on here for, like, 95Ks around 110 or something like that. So yeah, this filter is money. Also, bro, if you have Giannis moments, I would recommend selling him ASAP. Considering the fact he's almost 300k, he was around 200k, not literally probably yesterday or the day before. Also, bro, Aaron Gordon, bro, I'm not a fan of him. If you guys have him, I would definitely recommend selling. I did throw up a diamond contract on him yesterday. I will definitely be selling my Aaron Gordon. I am not a fan of him. There's a lot of better cars than him. He doesn't have a good jump shot, in my opinion. I will probably be copying KD. Once I sell him and Magic, like I said, bro, if you have Magic Johnson, I will go ahead and sell him. Considering the fact Westbrook's literally better. If you compare Westbrook to Magic, Westbrook is 100 times better. So looking at this now, if you want, you can pretty much sub out Vince Carter for Opal Roy. Opal Roy is very comparable. He does have less Hall of Fame badges. But, bro, I'm telling you, bro, his, his jumper's that good. And he has the same defense. He has better defense than Alex Opal Vince Carter, who's 200K. So, this is what I'm going to say. If you have Magic and Vince, I'm probably going to end up keeping Vince. If you have Magic and AG, sell them and get KD, bro. I'm telling you it's the move. Not only that, if I take Magic Johnson out of my lineup for literally Nate Thurman, I'm going to, for Richard Jefferson, my overall goes up. So, not only is he not even that good in overall, he actually brings my team's overall down. And honestly, his three-point shot isn't good. So, he really can't shoot that well either. So, and my recommendations, if you have AG, I would sell him. I would definitely sell Magic, and I would, I don't know, I feel like Vince Carter's price may go up or may go down. I'm not sure. I hope it goes up. But I'm selling MJ, and I'm selling Aaron Gordon, and I will be able to get the Kevin Durant. So stay tuned for that. If you guys want to see gameplay, Godswall gameplay, or whatnot, we'll probably run it on stream, or we'll just make a video. But yeah, guys, that's really all I got. I hope you guys did enjoy, and yes, bro, save your tokens, save your MT. If you want, I would sell your team late Sunday or early midday Sunday. That's pretty pretty much a lock Sunday, today, whatever you want to do. Also, bro, AD went up a ton. AD was rocking around 220. He's up to 300K, so I would also recommend selling your ADs. It's looking interesting, man. It looks like Clay Thompson and Westbrook will continue to drop. It looks like their value isn't that good in the pack, so I would definitely recommend trying to get one of them for the low. Try sniping one of them out. And yeah, guys, that's really all I got. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Have a good one. Peace.